What is up everyone? This is Garrett Pace with Lakeside Media and today we're going to be talking about three tips to get dope shots for your cinematography reel. It would seem like this advice is mostly geared for beginners, but it does apply to those who have been in the game for a while. In fact, these three tips are things that I've been using this year to get footage for our Instagram, the intro to this YouTube series, or our demo reel. And like I've said before, we've been doing this for over three years now. I've broken all this down into three main tips. The first tip is more of a mindset thing, a way of getting your head right so you're able to start looking for these opportunities. And then tips two and three are practical things that you can implement as soon as today to start getting cool shots all right tip number one is getting your mindset right I know when you're first starting out or even after you've been doing it for a while sometimes it seems like you can't get jobs without having a reel and you can't get a reel without getting jobs or if you're wanting to shift what your focus is or start doing something you've never done before oftentimes people won't look at things you've done before in a different genre and realize that that those same skills of camera work apply in the new genre. So it's easy to get discouraged when you're in these situations. And tip number one, getting your mindset right, is to shift your thinking from the negative of, how do I get shots for my reel when I can't even get the gigs to get the shots, to realizing that there are opportunities everywhere. You have to start looking at everything that you do and everything that's going on around you as potential opportunities. Whether you're going to, on a trip or going to some sort of activity or concert or you're on an actual gig or it's something you set up completely yourself, there are always opportunities to get those dope shots if you just start looking for them and expecting these opportunities to come to you. You'd be amazed how something that may have seemed mundane before really is a great opportunity to get something cool for your reel. This mindset shift is definitely something that we've had to apply recently. As I said in the first YouTube video we put out this year, and if you haven't seen that, you can check it out right here, that we've recently been trying to shift what we focus on in our day-to-day -day work to something that we've never done before, trying to get more into branded content or deals or even putting out these YouTube videos and things like that. How can we create our own opportunities in order to get these things out. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this later in tip number three, but it began with the mindset shift. All right, let's get into the practical stuff. Tip number two is to look for events or activities happening in your local area that you could potentially film. Honestly, you'd be amazed at the things that are happening right around you if you actually take the time to look for them. An amazing tool that we've been using recently to find these events is the event website, Eventbrite. Now, this site is geared more towards a way of people advertising their events so that people buy tickets or see that they're happening. But we've actually been using this as a way of finding actual gigs for us and also finding cool things that we could potentially film. What we do is we scroll through the site within a drivable distance of where we are for things happening next week or the week after or even six months down the road and just skim through it trying to find events that would potentially yield for awesome shots or cool things to film or if you're looking at it from the other way, as potential gigs to get us a job, to get us some money in the short term. When you start scrolling through here, you'll see very quickly that there are events about everything. It's crazy, stuff that you probably never even heard of. There's entire courses or classes or events dedicated to these things. Now, a lot of this stuff may not yield itself to dope shots for your cinematography reel, but if you look hard enough and you're persistent and you keep checking it and you keep going through, there's no telling what you'd be able to find that would be some sort of thing that maybe other people that would view your stuff wouldn't even think to do or have access to that you could then go and film. An example of this that we did recently is we were scrolling through the site looking for just regular gigs and we came across a class on fire breathing that was happening like 30 minutes down the road. I've never seen anything like this in person before, much less ever filmed it. So we reached out to the guy, we found his Facebook page and we sent him a message saying, hey, are you interested in having your class filmed? It turned out he didn't have a budget for this, but he said that we could come to his class for free and film if we were to give him like a 30 second promo for his class. 
we were in a situation to where we had to decide do we want to go do this for free and as i've said before in our other videos like i do this full time so me doing these gigs for free isn't helping me pay the mortgage but in a situation like this we were wanted to film something anyway so we thought why don't let's go and, and film this dude breathing fire like i just had this vision right away of this slow-mo shot of fire just coming out of this guy's mouth and I don't know, I just thought it'd be really cool. Since we are really trying to put out content frequently on our Instagram and our Facebook and, and create these YouTube videos, we're always looking for opportunities to film something. And this seemed like something that would yield itself for all three. I mean, I can post shots or, or screen grabs from this on Instagram. I'm including it as part of this YouTube video. It served as content for me that I'm going to be creating anyway. So why not do something that we've never done before and then use that as an opportunity to give tips to people that may be interested in trying to get cool shots. So we loaded up the truck, headed off to Durham to see what we could get. Another example of us putting tip number two into practice was recently we were trying to find ways of getting more material for our music section on our website. Now we have a couple music videos up there, but we wanted to get a live show. So one thing you can do is you can look at the venues around your area, the bars or the uh, arenas or whatever, and see who's coming to perform there. You can reach out to them. If you're first starting out, you can offer to film their concert for free and then give them a, you know, a video of it. They can use it if they want or not. Or if you've been doing it a while, you can say, hey, we're here. We would like to film your show. This is what we charge, blah, blah, blah. Or you could do it at a discount rate. This is another way of finding things happening near you, or you could find other forms of performances or whatever that you could film to get cool shots. And what we did is we saw this guy Hudson Moore was coming to to play both in Raleigh and in Charlotte. He's a country music artist. He has like 60,000 followers on Instagram, which is another opportunity to get your work out there in front of other people or to potentially build your social media presence if that's something that you're into. So we reached out to him and he didn't have the budget to pay our normal rate for doing something like that. So once again, we made the decision, it is worth it to us to try to get that kind of footage, to put that up on our website, to put it out in our reel. And a clip from this actually is in the intro for this YouTube video. We went and we shot his show and I had this idea of trying to create an intro to him going out on the stage that I thought was pretty cool. And then it ultimately go into the song that he wanted in the video and then shots of the crowd and him and everything like that. And we got some really cool shots from it. We posted some on Instagram of it, and we've got this, you know, pretty sweet minute video of him performing that we have on our website. And so always be on the lookout for things happening in your area for events. These are two tactics of finding them. Obviously, this may not be the kind of thing you're looking to film. Maybe tip number three will be more applicable for you, but always keep this in mind. Look around at what's going on near you and think about ways of potentially filming this stuff that you can have access to that maybe other people didn't think about filming and you never know what you might find i mean and you might have a hundred duds but all you need is that one killer thing that you can put in your reel to get you one step closer to having like a complete awesome reel of dope shots all right you may be thinking there's nothing going on in my area or reached out to different people to try to film with them and they've said no because you don't have any examples or you may be looking for more ways of doing this and that is why i have tip number three which is filming with your family or your friends in the cool locations around where you live going back to mindset you may think oh i live in a place that's boring but you got to remember that where you live is unique to you there are people that have never seen that kind of terrain or the different things that happen right around where you are. 
I mean, for example, I live in North Carolina. So to me to look outside and to see all the green, the grass and the trees and you know, the rivers and lakes and stuff like that seems boring to me. But I used to live in Nevada and out there, like you don't see green anywhere, you see desert. So to them seeing trees or driving down a road where you can't see, but like 20 feet in either direction because you're in the middle of a forest, looks beautiful to them because they don't ever see it. So take advantage of where you are, your own backyard or drive an hour from where you live or something like that to find a cool spot to film with your family or your friends or different people to get these cool shots that you're looking for. The first example of us doing this, I'm not gonna go too far into it because I made a whole YouTube video about it that you can check out right here, is we went to Raleigh, which is about 20 minutes from where I live with Blake and our, our buddy Kyle and filmed me walking around the city. And now we have these cool shots. You can check out the actual promo video. I'll also put that up here. Another example is recently Blake went out just near where he lives in the woods with his wife out in like a field and just filmed her walking around which turned out to be a really dope video that we posted on our instagram recently and it actually did really well for us in terms of the views and the comments and likes and whatnot it took very minimal effort or gear or crew and he has made this awesome video that we posted on our social media Just go look near where you are and find a cool spot to film. And that's exactly what he did with, with her. Another example on a slightly bigger scale is the short film that we shot last summer called Daisy Creek, uh, written and directed by our buddy Adam Ferguson. We pulled our own resources together and it was literally just us using locations that we had access to. For example, I, I know a guy who owns a warehouse. I reached out to him and said, hey man, can we come film in your warehouse on this day? And he said yes, and we went and we filmed there. We made the warehouse look like a hospital. We went out in the woods into a creek and filmed one section there, and then we filmed at a friend's house, and we filmed at my uncle's lake house, and then down at the actual lake. All of these were just locations that we knew of that were close by us that we had access to from the people that we know with family or friends. If narrative is your thing, then all you need is just to get a group of people and write a script or an idea that's centered around the locations that you actually have access to near you. And this is where you can take advantage of whether you live in the mountains or it snows all the time where you are, or you're near the beach or a lake, or you live in the city, like set your narrative in those locations because those are locations that other people may not have access to. So you can get these awesome shots and you can hang out with your friends and ultimately you get to create something that you can be proud of just by using the resources that you have readily available to you. I DP'd this film and I have tons of shots in there that I would use for a reel. There's a couple in the intro to this video but there's a, a lot of stuff that I'm really proud of that we were able to get just using the gear that I already had and locations that we had access to through friends and family. All right, so after all of this, you may be saying, you know, there's not events like that or I can't get into them, everybody's telling me no, or I don't have a group of friends like you have that we could all come together and make a cool film. But that's why I have this last example, which is literally me taking this camera and this lens and going out in my own backyard and filming with my son. My son was outside playing. He was watching the birds fly around our bird feeder. I ran inside real quick and I grabbed my camera and I just literally filmed him playing. I didn't give him any direction. I just ran around him with a camera. this film I actually got one of my favorite shots of 2017 in my backyard just filming my son and I love this shot so much that it's actually in the intro 
to our YouTube series. The point of this is, is you don't need anything. You just need your eye, your camera, and just the mentality of knowing that there are opportunities to get cool shots around you everywhere. All right, so if you get your mindset right, you look around in your local area for events or activities or different things to film, or you just grab some friends and film right around your own house. There are always opportunities to get cool shots for your reel if you're open to actually looking for them and allowing them to come to you and then taking advantage of it when they do. If these tips helped you, I would love to hear about it. Please leave a comment below or hit us up on the on Facebook or Instagram or, or wherever you like to hit people up at. We'd love to hear about it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. You can do that, clicking that red button. We are putting out videos like this every week possibly more so we'd love to have you as a part of this community so take these three tips and get out there and start shooting get you some dope shots and we'll see you soon